What are you guys? How you doing and all that? I've well, just took Gem and I on a little field over here for a run. I'm not going back to mine. Let's let this bus go. Do you have a little fiddle with George? Or a little tinker? The reason being, the other day, as I mentioned, oh, As I mentioned the other day, just after fooling up again, George has been one and rubbish. Um, you can see now it's pulling back. I honestly think he is misfiring. But I don't think it's to do with the fuel. Come on, George. See that he's struggling. It's been slowly getting worse to be honest. So I need to investigate and see what that is this morning. I've got a feeling, I don't think that'll be the plugs again. I've got a feeling it's the coil playing up or something like that. Or a connection somewhere. Maybe a plug lead. acceleration that is just misfiring like hell. So it's like we're gonna stop any minute. So obviously I need to look at that now it's just gradually got worse and worse. Funny thing is this morning was really damp and it was okay for a little while and then it started again so what's going on I'm not sure. Definitely need to have a look. I've got several little jobs I need to do. As you know, I need to sort that other seat out. I also need to complete that repair I did on the floor. Oh, another one I need to have a look at definitely today is some guy told me this morning that one of my brake lights is out. I think it's been out for a while, so I need to have a look at that. From bloody bloody blood. We'll see what else we come up with. What time I've got. But at the minute, I've got enough time. Oh, he's not running too well at all. Yeah, he's definitely misfiring. So, audio, get Gemini in and give it a drink, get it settled. Then I'll come out and we'll have a little mess around with George, see if we can get him to run better. Right, let's have a quick look. It's not a great lot of fuel in the filter, but as we know, sometimes they're low, sometimes they're high, but there is fuel in it, so I don't think it's a fuel problem. I think it's going to be a lead. Coil's not really hot. Seems a bit oily. Could the coil be leaking? <laughs> smells funny as well. That'll look a bit damaged around that edge. <coughs> Strange. What I might do, first of all, is cut a piece of this wire off and just shorten it because I don't like the look of that. And why is that what? Like oil. Because that's an oil filled coil. <coughs> Could the oil be leaking? Hmm. What's the matter, Gemini? Wanna play with your toys? She obviously wants to come out and play. 
Right, I'm going to just cut a little piece of this off first and give that a try. Right, so I've cut a piece of this off. I'm not a great fan, fan of these carbon fibre in us. I mean, look at it, it looks like it's all falling apart in there. I'm hoping that that could have been the problem. So I stuck the little screw in the end. No, it's not much what holds that in there. But it's worn it had something what screwed on it. A bit strange. Yeah, I'm, like I say, I'm not a great fan of these carbon. I ain't had much luck with them, shall I say. I prefer the old copper ones, but that's what they are on here. Just need to find something to hold that in. Well, I've jumped a piece of rubber in the side, and then I put some this red masking tape. I ain't going to black, but that stops any water getting in. I think the oil or the, what I thought was oil on there may have been WD-40 or something that I've been spraying on it we will see the only one thing I can do now is fire it up and just see if it's any different you never know your luck we'll see how this feels pumping today as well let's put the key on We're in neutral. Heard the fuel pump clicking. So we know that's working. Let's see what happens. Oh. We'll fire it up as usual. Still seem a bit rough. You can see when I accelerate, you can see it's missing. It's missing all the time now, look. That is very lumpy. So that's not right. I'm going to just see if I can find up. A coil. So I found this Lucas coil that's been battered about a bit. I don't even know what that was off. Might have been off an XR2. So I had a few of them I was messing about with. But I'm not sure if that would be ballast resisted or not. Doesn't say anything on it. So it's worth a try. I might just connect this up and just see if we get any better performance with the sparks. Audio. So we uh, connected this green colour coil up. Um, so Lucas Super, whatever that means. It's fluid type, same as that one. Like I say, I'm not sure I was meant to have a ballast resistor with that one. We'll just see what happens if it fires up or not. Let's put the key back on. Obviously it's not fixed in place so it might fall. Let's see what happens. Fired up okay, that's normal. Simply turn a little more smoother. 
going faster, isn't it? Well, I don't see many hesitation. I've got a feeling that could be that coil then. Well, I'm going to have to fix it in place so I can road test it. And we'll see what happens. Right, obviously I'm just going to unbolt that one. Bolt that one down to there. Fix the HT lead in the centre a bit better. And we'll give it a little road test and just see how we go on. Right, so we've stuck a bit of insulation tape around that just to make sure that don't fall out. The only thing we can do is just give it a test under a bit of a load you'll soon know I'll notice the difference straight away I should think let's just check that fires up okay again put the key on Well, as usual, didn't want to fire up immediately, but that is normal for George. Definitely sounds a lot better on this. Like I say, we need to road test it now. The only thing what might happen is, if that's um, a ballast resistor type of coil, that'll probably get hot and that'll muck it up anyway, but that won't make no difference. At least I'll, I'll know I need a coil. Let's just take it for a quick spin. I'll just grab Gemini and stick her in the car. I'm going to go for a little ride, Gemini. Come on. Rightio, got Gemini in. Let's just go for a little spin. Like I say, I think I'll move it straight away. Whether it's any difference. Can't really tell going backwards, to be honest. So obviously, this could be the coil what was the problem. So just coincidence, that happened the same time. No, it's not one pullback. Not one. Put this in the back and touch it whatever. But before, that would be... Look, look. I can feel it under my foot, this is fine, it's fine, it's quite well. I'll soon tell. I'm going to come away from here and leave it in a second. Yeah, fine. So that's that problem sorted for the time being. The coil. Let's go a little bit further go up to around about the road here and come back just so as we can make double it sure like I say the only thing is that coil might get hot if it's a uh, ballast resistor type because obviously with those they're designed to take 12 volt on start and then drop down but I had one 
can't be bought like that. And why, why they used to do it once it got warm, they let them play up and let it cool down and be alright. I would just have to see how this one go. What I'll actually do is chuck the the old coil in the boot just in case this one gives up and then I should be able to get along with it. Yeah, that is definitely what was wrong. So that was an easy sus. The coil. Maybe it was a coil playing up last time, but when I changed the plugs, that was a little bit better because of new plugs. Who knows? But this is definitely running better. I was beginning to get on my nerves. That was slowly getting worse and worse and worse. See now I can go back, come around that corner this morning, infer that one will pull back and have to be changed down there. As you can probably tell by my voice, I've got a bit of a cold again I think, or like a summer cold or whatever you call it. I know it we're warm now aren't we? I know this weather keeps changing. It's lovely again today. It's pulling fine. Okay, George, you live again. So that's the coil fix. Now I need to have a look at the brake light. Because like I said, someone told me yesterday one of my brake lights is out. I think uh, Debbie did tell me a while ago got about it as I do but things I've got a little bit of time to see how we restart so George has always been the same he likes to whirl over a bit Anyway, I'm happy with that, the way I swung him. Um, brake light, let's have a look at that. So, to swear this brake light, the first thing I need to do is find out which one it is. Could even be wiring, because we had this problem when I first got it, if you remember. It's got those kind of LED bulbs jiggling them about. They started working, so best thing to do is get that brake pedal down and find out which one's not going. I've drowned this piece of metal I've got for actually fixing the other seat between the seat and the pedal so it's pushing the pedal down. Now on these cars are different from modern cars most of them will have a little switch on the back of the pedal so when the pedal goes it operates a switch but on Moggies they've got a switch in the brake line First Gemini, which I'll show you under the bonnet. Usually they're down here, there it is, and the cobwebs. That down there is the brake switch, so when the fluid is pressured, when you put your foot on the pedal, pushes the valve up inside here, makes a connection, and turns on the brake lights. So we've got that pressed down and can't see it very well but this one's a light and so is that one. Yep, this one is brighter than the other one for whatever reason probably due to connections which will be up underneath well anyway they are both working now this was the one that wasn't working
Now it looks like this one's not working. What's going on? But it is working because I can see it through the glass. It's not as bright. Why is that? I think I'll take this cover off and we'll have a look at the bulbs. Funny that one is brighter than the other. Like I say, I'll have a little investigation on this. Right, so after a bit of fettling, they're both on. This one's slightly brighter, but I think it's because there's a couple of little LEDs out on that one. But we'll see what they're like when it gets dark. But they're working now. Hooray. Turn that off. So it's two jobs done. We're cracking on now. Gemini's had enough. She's having a little sleep. Which is all good. Right. Well, here we go. I didn't get round to doing much else before work. Went to work on my e bike. Obviously, it's only down the bottom of the road. The only thing I've done is got the sea out of the shed into the garage and had a look at it. And that's basically it. But, um, hopefully I'll get on with that soon. Along with all the things I need to do. about that coil it might have even been playing up before then decided not to when I got the new spark plugs it just all seems a bit strange to me so I think I'm going to leave this video here thanks for watching everyone thanks to all the new subscribers nearly up to seven hopefully I'll soon be getting up to the magic 1000 that's the plan but we will see on that one so thanks for watching everyone catch you all in the next one Bye for now.